This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and give. Be glad. Praise God. Standing on 
the promises of Christ the Lord bowed to him eternally by love's strong cord, overcoming daily with the Spirit's sword, standing on the promises of God. Amen.
all that dwells below the skies.
loves me. Somebody asks, how do I know? I can feel it deep down in my soul. Yes! Jesus loves me. A whole lot of folk will tell you they love you. And then turn around and stab you in your back. But we can shout hallelujah in the house because Jesus loves us unconditionally. Yes, thank you, Lord, for your love. From Isaiah, the 43rd chapter, verses 18 and 19. The word says, forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. See, I'm doing a new thing. God's getting ready to do a new thing, y'all. I said God's getting ready right. to do a new thing. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. We extol you. We magnify your name. We thank you from whom all blessings flow. We thank you for this day and this opportunity to be able to open up our mouths and say thank you, to be able to lift up holy hands in praise uh, because God, you've been so good to us uh, and we thank you. Thank you for loving us uh, and that your love towards us is from everlasting to everlasting. Thank you for your faithfulness uh, that we can stand on your word, uh, stand on your promises. Lord, we're out here on your word. And Lord, we know you're listening to our cries. God, we understand that your will must be done. So we pray for strength to do your will. Forgive us, Lord, of our sins by thought, word, or deed. Now, Lord, in this preaching hour, I pray for preaching power. You say, speak to me, speak through me. What you would have me to say and what you would have the people to hear. I pray now in your precious son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God's getting ready to do a new thing. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living, sacred sanctuary, oh, just for you. Now, I want the Lord to mold me. I want him to make me. I want him to shape me. I want him to direct me. I want him to purge me. I want him to wash me and make me whatever he wants me to be. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. I offer today, God's getting ready to do a new thing. He's getting ready to remold us. He's getting ready to remake us, reshape us, redirect us, to purge us, wash us over and over so that we can be whatever he wants us to be. Amen. God's getting ready to do a new thing. Any believers Amen. in the house, God's getting ready Amen. to do a new thing. Amen. Amen. Today's text reads, forget about formal things. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and, and streams uh, in the wasteland. The scripture pictures uh, a new exodus uh, for the Israelites 
who are once again uh, in bondage and they find themselves oppressed and depressed. Uh, each time that Israel cried out to the Lord, he heard them and he delivered them. Now a new exodus uh, would take place uh, in a new setting, in a new desert. Uh, the past miracles uh, that they had seen would not even compare to what God would do for his people in the future. And to encourage the Israelites, uh, God sent word, uh, I'm getting ready to do a new thing. Six months into this global pandemic, people are crying out uh, to the Lord uh, with social distancing and quarantines. Uh, people are depressed and some feels uh, oppressed. Some are going stare crazy. There are those who feel that they've even been betrayed and others are questioning God, uh, where are you? Are you out there, God? Do you hear us, Lord? Are you listening to our cries? Lord, can you see us down here? Can you see all of the suffering and the pain? There's sickness and disease on every hand. Death is all around us and unemployment is up and that $600 federal assistance money is no more in the midst of suffering. There's hate uh, and lies uh, and liars, uh, divisiveness, uh, setbacks, uh, and breakdown. Uh, Satan is trying his best to destroy us and convince us that God is not real. But hallelujah, one day, Brother Donald. We'll be able to shout because this pandemic right. will be behind us. Yes. But don't you know that God has stared down pandemics in the past? Yes. He's going to do it again. Yes. Therefore, church, I stop back on this Lord's Day, Sister Rochelle, too, to say, don't despair. God's getting ready to do a new thing. God. You may not see it right now. Huh? You may not can feel it right now. But one day, the word says, just uh, it will spring up huh? that God's making a way uh, in the desert, uh, in the dry places, and it's dry right now. Huh? But he's preparing us to walk into our season. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. God's getting Amen. ready Amen. to do a new thing. Amen. Amen. And talking about seasons, um, God's getting us ready for Ecclesiastes um, 3 and 1 says um, to everything uh, there is a season and a time and a purpose um, for everything under the heavens. Uh, God said to everything, uh, there is a season. He didn't say to every season, there is a thing, uh, but to everything, uh, there is a season. This being pandemic, uh, your season is about to be over. He says everything, uh, there is a season. Season. I believe it's safe to say that God uses situations and people to produce seasons. We are often inclined to look for the season to bring new things. Next week, the temps are supposed to be dropping in the 60s at night. This lets us know that a new season it's on the way. Somebody can shout right now because you're sick of all this here. <laughs> A new season. God is saying the season is a new thing. God has placed a calling on your life and my life, y'all. 
your life, uh, your business, your relationship, your job, uh, your family, your attitudes, uh, your characteristics, uh, your patience, uh, your dress, uh, the way you walk, uh, the way you talk, uh, what you see, uh, and where you go, uh, and yes, uh, your spirituality, for only what you do for Christ will last. Uh, it's your season uh, to be blessed. Uh, God uh, is getting ready to do a new thing. And people, there's simply no end to what God can do. Well, can I get a witness this morning? When we look back over our lives, somebody can shout, there is uh, no ending to what God can do. When I look back to where the Lord brought me, there is no ending to what the Lord could have done. I still could be on the street corner tossing back the Kavasi and the bullets are flying, but God reached down and in my season, picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet up on a firm foundation, put a new song down in my soul, a praise, a hallelujah on my lips. I tell you, God's getting ready to do a new thing. It's your season to be blessed. And church, you know, the old church would say, I'm going to run on and see what the end going to be. I'm going to run on and see what the end going to be. Because I know it ain't always going to be like this. I know with God on the throne, it ain't always going to be like this. And one day, this thing that's got us uh, so captive, it's going to be in the past. Uh, so don't give up. Don't give up. Hang on in there. Because God's getting ready to do a new thing. Now I fully understand y'all that there are some things in each of our lives that we ought to be ashamed of. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, some folk has messed up so long and done so much wrong, they can't even see it. But if God is on your side, and if you got the love of God deep down in you, all of us, I don't care how old it goes, still we are. Got some, some baggage and some dirt under our fingernails. Folk always trying to clean under somebody else's nails when it's their own. Mm -hmm. That they need to look at. Mm -hmm. We often live in the tension of what we've been and not who we can become. But can somebody shout hallelujah this morning? You're not who you used to be. You're not who you used to be. God's blessed you. Oh, the Lord, our Jesus and Savior, can and will pick us up. So let go of a past guilt and shame. No matter what folk have to say about us. Because what God has in store for each of us. It's a new thing. And we thank God is good to us right now and he is. But just wait to see what God has in store. Because God's getting ready to do a new thing. Can anybody stand some newness in your life? Can anybody stand a change in your world? Amen. God said to the people in the text uh, as he reminded them of all of the things that he, he did 
for them in the past. He said, who, he asked her, who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters. Here the word is speaking of when Moses and the Israelites uh, were freed and they left out of Egypt, out of the land of bondage. The Lord reminded Israel of the provisions he had made for them in the past. Uh, he reminded them of when Pharaoh and his mighty army was coming up to wipe them out. And when you saw the cloud of dust peeling behind you, when you heard the rumbling of the horses and the chariots, when everything in the natural order said it was over, but God said it's not over till I say it's over. And the Lord said, did not make a way in the sea. Did not make a path in the midst of the mighty waters. In fact, when the enemies were riding on your tail and followed you into the sea, although you were grumbling and complaining every step of the journey, did not wipe them over to never rise up no more, even when you were in the wilderness wandering around and yeah, the mountain didn't have food to eat up. Didn't I send you man from up above when you were thirsty? Didn't I provide water from a rock for you to drink? You wanted to go back to the past, but here's the deal today. Forget about former things. Do not dwell on things in the past. That was then and this is now. God's getting ready to do a new thing. Right in the face, y'all, of the COVID-19 virus, God is sending message, a message up to the same message uh, that he preached to Israel, to us today. Uh, sure, you are living during some hard times. Uh, sure, the storm clouds uh, are still circling. Sure, you've even done some things uh, and said some things uh, you wish uh, you could take back. Uh, Sure, the good economy that you experienced uh, at the beginning of year 22, 2020 has turned uh, upside down. Uh, sure, where you once saw positives, uh, there are now uh, negatives. Uh, sure, things are going the way uh, that you thought uh, they would do. Uh, sure, uh, you miss uh, the truth of God sometimes uh, during these difficult days. Uh, but that was then uh, and this is now. Uh, all is forgiven for this is a new day. Uh, and I don't know about you, uh, but in spite of most life circumstances, uh, I'm going to rejoice uh, and be glad uh, in it uh, because God So forget about formal things. Forget about the past. The Lord is making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Someday this present thing will be in the past because God A new thing. People, I know we are more than eager to put this pandemic and all of the destruction it's created behind us. 
even though it's still out there. I believe we're already on the brink of a new thing, of a new season that's springing up. Now it won't hit us all at once, Sister Janet. Uh, it's going to be a, a gradual thing, God. And some of us may say, well, Lord, why can't you do it all at one time? You see, God's goodness and God's mercy are so great. If the Lord opened up the windows of heaven and poured out all his goodness on us at one time, we wouldn't be able to handle it. So the Lord will unfold his mercies new uh, and trust to us uh, each and every day uh, a little bit uh, at the time somebody ought to thank God for the little bit uh, somebody ought to thank God for being the inventor of little things uh, because it's the little things uh, and the little bit uh, that keeps us going some folk are always looking for the big picture, but we gotta learn how to thank God for the little things. Oh, no. whatever God is about to do, it will spring up. Do you not perceive it? God's blessing us with a new day, blessing us with a new life uh, blessing us uh, with new opportunities uh, to get it right uh, get it right uh, God is getting ready to do uh, a new thing uh, hallelujah somebody can somebody give God a shout uh, for what he's about to do and somebody give God a shout uh, because he And after 
He then pushed them. The old bear stepped out and did 12 steps to the left and 12 steps to the right, grunted and growled and wanted to return to his cage. He was totally consumed with the past. And even though somebody had purchased his freedom and given him the space to roam, he was consumed by his past. Although the cage was no longer there, the man with the whip was gone in his mind. He was still in a cage, and all the old bear could do was take 12 steps to the left and 12 steps to the right, then grunt and growl. Well, folk, when we consider the story of the old bear, is there a wonder why God would tell us Forget about your past. Forget about things. Don't dwell in the past. Don't even think too much about the future and what's going on around you. Yes, be considerate and be careful. But just know I'm doing a new thing. Now it's up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wayside just like somebody purchased the freedom of that old bear sister Robin. Don't you know Jesus has purchased our freedom. That shall be God to his crush us the blood just like that old bear, still all some folk can take up is 12 steps up to the left up and 12 steps up to the right up, grunt up and growl up. But don't be uh, like that old bear because I believe uh, God is calling on each of us uh, to walk up uh, in a brand new Right now, Satan, you 
bought your head and you tried to turn it down. But Jesus said, Blessed are you when people insult you, talk about you, stress you out. Blessed are you when folk persecute you, say false things about you, but don't let them define who you are. Because God's just preparing you for a new thing. How many are ready to claim a new life? How many need a new start? I'm not talking about some promotion down here on earth, but set your hopes on things eternal and God will take care of you uh, don't worry no matter what uh, I don't know how I don't know when I don't know where but I know God's getting us ready for a new thing uh, so somebody shout yeah 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 because God is getting ready Shower down hope. God's getting ready to give us a peace of mind. God's getting ready to just water us up through and through with holy ghost intoxicated joy, joy, joy.
someone listening today that need a new start, need a new beginning, need a new life, I offer you Jesus. I can't promise you if you accept Jesus into your life that everything will be a rose garden. There will be some challenges. There will be some ups and some downs. But with Jesus on your side, don't you know you can make it? Just trust Him. You can reach us here at the church office. 931 388 We thank God for our giving, our stewardship, and tithes and offering. And we pray God's blessing a part of the, the offering that God will bless it and multiply it so that we may use it for the building of his kingdom. Until next time, we say thank you. God bless you. Stay well and stay safe. He's blessing. God bless you.